So just today, the chairwoman of the Georgia Freedom Caucus, State Rep. Charlize Byrd, she has officially introduced articles of impeachment against Fannie Willis, claiming that Willis has used her office not to pursue justice, but for political gain. She points to the Donald Trump election interference case that Willis has brought against President Trump and calls into question her conflict of interest in this case. Of course, she's referring to uh, that allegation that Fannie Willis hired her lover to be the top prosecutor in the case and then benefited financially with taxpayer funds. And the fact that he had no experience in this matter whatsoever. Of course, this comes on the same day that the Georgia Senate voted in favor of forming a special committee, Michelle Backus with us, with subpoena power to investigate her actions. The investigative committee could begin meeting, well, as soon as next week. Yeah, coming yeah. up fast. Now, the measure passed 39 to 19 on a party line vote with all Democrats voting against it. Yep. This committee can move forward without the approval of Governor Ryan Kemp, who has so far refused to act. State Senator Greg Dolzel sponsored the resolution, saying the state has the right to look into how elected officials are using public money, as he should there. Uh, I mean, Miranda, it's, it's yeah. crazy to see another state senator Brandon Beach said, quote, it is becoming more and more clear that this was prosecution for personal profit. It's my hope that this investigative committee will use its subpoena power and subpoena witnesses and records to explore if state funds were spent on these lavish trips and fine dining restaurants. Did security details travel on these mm -hmm. trips and who paid for their expenses. Did Miss Willis break any ethics laws by Ooh. not disclosing any gifts she received? Carolyn, oh, the questions. You've been covering this case. This is a bombshell development. Listen, the walls are really closing in on Fannie Willis here. I do not want to be in her shoes because this committee is gonna move forward, right? They voted right. on that mm -hmm. day. They have subpoena power. Guess who they're gonna subpoena to come in to testify? Fannie Willis, answer all those questions you just outlined, Michelle, by Senator, State Senator Beach. And she's gonna have to answer those questions under oath. Not only that, uh, she's also gonna have to, uh, to testify or to be able to, to address these allegations in the actual case she's bringing against Donald Trump. The, the judge that's overseeing that case has scheduled an evidentiary hearing for Feb February 15th in light of all of this information that's come out. So she's gonna have to address this on multiple different fronts. And I'll tell you, you know, Colton Moore, he's a state senator here in Georgia. He's been calling for this investigation for a very long time, for months. He was actually expelled from the Republican caucus mm -hmm. here in Georgia, simply asking for a special session to investigate this. Well, now look, all the rhinos in Georgia, now that it's politically expedient and all this information has come out, they're all now suddenly on board for an investigation. Uh, so there's that side of this. Nonetheless, we're glad to see it. Uh, we just want folks to get to the bottom of this. You know, under this committee, under this measure, if the committee finds that there has been misconduct, uh, it can recommend changes to the state law or budget. So we'll see where all of this goes. She is in certain, certainly is in a lot of uh, a lot of hot water. Let's say.